Hi all, it's movie time. Sadly, it's a movie of frustration. I've been sitting here reading and reading and reading, which is what I do because I have ADD. I read and read pieces of this and this and this and this and this, and I'm able to stitch together the big picture because I don't scope down and only see through a microscope, but I'm able to see what all the little microscopic pieces are putting together for an overview. And I must say, it's really pretty pathetically tragic that the scientists have not clearly put together the stuff that I've been putting out for the past few years. It's so unambiguously clear if you read any kind of diverse literature that when you turn on fat burning, you kill many kinds of cancer cells. It's unambiguously clear. There are so much... There's so much scientific literature that supports this. I literally have around 27,000 articles on my computer, and the vast majority are dealing with metabolism and the flow of energy. And they just can't quite get it that a cancer cell, a healthy cell, cannot survive unless it has energy. So the energy sources are the the key to understanding what's going on and they just don't quite get it that carbohydrates going through the electron transport system are the big problem because of free radical generation that is balanced within carbohydrate metabolism by aerobic glycolysis because when aerobic glycolysis is turned on and the electron transport system is reduced you basically are protecting the cells from free radicals. However, you're doing that by making energy very inefficiently compared to the electron transport system, but it's safe. If you look up herbal, various herbal medicines throughout history, throughout all the cultures, every medicine that has basically anti-inflammatory activity, anti-cancer activity, anti-arthritis properties, anti-diabetic properties, they all work by the same mechanism. They turn on fat burning. You can monitor that in the scientific literature by looking at the effect on mTOR, uh, of mTOR which gets inhibited because mTOR is promoted by sugar burning. And you instead look at the activation of AMP kinase, AMPK as it's abbreviated, and, you'll, and that turns on fat burning. And you'll see that that underlies everything, that that simple paradigm build and make things with carbohydrates, do it to any excess, you make too many free radicals for the system to appropriately maintain its homeostatic basis. And that's what in turn creates all the age-related illnesses. What we're seeing in many different types of cancers is really a dramatic reversal and sometimes essentially an elimination within three to four weeks. And when the people finish after a month or so of noticing what's going on, the comment is, I have never felt better. So instead of going for chemo and torturing yourself or being tortured by the medical professions while they suck your money, you can use home remedies that are incredibly effective. Now, let me point out something I recently learned because it's very germane to this whole topic. There are certain stem cell mutations in, for example, um, succinic, acid, succinic dehydrogenase, which feeds into the electron transport system. And some of those mutations are stem cell mutations. The most primitive stem cells, the most powerful ones in terms of their re ability to regenerate anything, are fat burners. Okay, So when you have these stem cell cancers, they were already burning fat. You can't kill them with cannabis and other things by turning on fat burning because it's that transition that cells have a difficulty making. But if you're already made that transition, then no problem. So this is not real hard science. People understand it everywhere. People with degrees, people without degrees. But it's much easier to present a simple explanation for people without degrees who are not embedded in the system. Why is that? Because in order to succeed in a flow-dependent structure like our economy and our granting agencies, you have to conform to the structure itself in order to succeed. So that means linear thinking. 
writing your grants for the people who are reading them. The interest in knowledge, which should be driving all of this, is not there. So I think that what is going on on a research sense is wonderful because it's with that, with that knowledge that we're able to put together this big picture and then see that everywhere you look, it's supported. That's wonderful. Just don't use pharmaceuticals that are not part of the flow of life synthesis and degradation, part of that complexity, that monstrous homeostatic complexity that's evolved over billions of years because flowing energy organizes matter. Peace and love.